and more GV. This is the world's first real-time unified physics solver. Fluids, cloth, rigid bodies, all interacting together in a unified solver. Every single physics detail is coupled. One physics simulation affects another and all of the others around it. Okay, so all of the physical behaviors are coupled. The world's first unified physics solver in real time. So let's, let's show them that. Thanks, Jensen. <clears throat> so as Jensen said, this is, a, this is what we call flex. It's a fully unified solver um, where the fundamental building block is actually particles uh, and, and, and all kinds of different materials and different kinds of objects with different properties are represented using particles. So here we have uh, we're showing fluid interacting with, with uh, rigid or solid objects. And so, and Jim, this is, this is kind of, this is a, a turbulent flow simulation, and it's kind of like the turbulent flow that vortices that come off, off the wingtip of a plane. That's right. all the turbulent flow behind it. Exactly. So the, the turbulent flow is generated uh, depending on the, the actual interaction of the fluid with the, with the solid surface, and so vortices are then generated, and that it, it leaves this beautiful wake. And this is also the first simulator that is grid-free, right? For all of the computational mathematicians in the audience, uh, there, is, there are no grids here, and it's grid-free, and so uh, the simulation approach is a sparse matrix approach, which is really, really data movement intensive. Okay, let's see a few, few others. Sure, here's another scene which shows off the, um, the interactivity. Let's go back to the last one, please. Here's a scene which shows off the interactivity of, of different types of materials like we talked about. So here we have a rigid uh, hanging material that we can then emit particles into the scene, and there's full interaction between, between that rigid body and the, and the fluid smoke. <laughs> so I can play with that, move it anywhere I want. I can uh, stop emitting particles. It emits some more fluid. And so you can see that all of the physics, physical simulations and behavior are all coupled. The smoke is interacting with um, that rigid body and, and of course, the, the springy uh, rubber, rubber wires um, are interacting with everything as well. Exactly. Everything and all, all very naturally. No, no artistic animation is necessary. You just set it free and let it simulate. That's right. And, and because everything's represented as particles, they can all be uh, efficiently uh, efficiently simulated on the GPU, so this is all GPU simulated. And so it takes something like a Titan Z where we're doing the, the simulation on some of the GPUs, some of the CUDA cores, and of course the rendering, the computer graphics is also beautiful, is done by the other CUDA cores. Okay, let's take a, take a look at another demo. So here's another nice scene which shows off um, both the beautiful fluid simulation and turbulence. Uh, of this of this simulator, but also the ability for the um, the actual uh, the grid free nature of the simulation. So <clears throat> typically we, we we constrain simulations to grids because it makes it easier to simulate and bounds the problem in a way that that fits nicely on GPUs. But but this is the uh, the first time we've we've done a simulation that's completely yeah. grid free. Can you just imagine how naturally it's it is going to be for artists now to create video games and and other content? The character would just show up and of course there could be an explosion or there just could be a, a smoke, a layer of smoke and they just walk right through it. And so no artist manipulation is ne necessary and as a result the cost of creating the content is reduced. But not only that, it's just much, much more beautiful and much more real realistic.